Well, how exciting is it for you? Another year, another pickleball. So fun, and because I get to come with her, I get a spring in my step, and I'm really excited. Are you excited to see everybody? Excited. Um, I'm just excited to see everyone. No, not really. Yeah, Lizelle. That's so funny. Is Jax the one we were talking about? Yeah, Jax, my my good friend, her daughter is the other one, Chelsea, which is the one who's in Jax's videos. Yeah. What is it like for the holidays? What traditions do you guys do? We keep adding traditions. Today we went to see the windows and the tree. We went for tea at the plaza. We'll go to Radio City. We go ornament picking. You made a wreath. Like, we do it all. We don't stop. Do you have your list ready to show your mom what you Um, yeah. Then you I, left the letter yeah. to Santa. Yes, yeah. Okay. Do you have the elf on the shelf? Does the elf come to the house? The elf does come to the house. Did you get find the elf today, or did you see her? No. Uh, no. I saw her. I, I'm not going to tell you where she was, but I saw her. Yeah. Yes. We do. We literally do it all. We do it all. We have diplomas from Gingerbread University. How do you do it? Because you you now have a podcast. How do you all have I have, I have three podcasts, and Rewives is now 18 in all podcasts and number one in TV, so I'm really excited. Um, Money Court, uh, we had a really good week. This was the second week, and it's really the best project I've done on television. It's just so smart, so necessary because we're talking to people who are at a roadblock in their business. They they cannot move forward unless they have a resolution and it's binding arbitration so the stakes couldn't be higher. So I'm loving that and uh, it's definitely an exciting time actually. There's so much going on now that I think about it. It's like funny when she gets business address. It is you. I, I, I know and I, yet I still do. We're doing a staycation tonight in the city. Like That's why mommy's always so, you know, like I've got to do everything on time because I'm just trying to be with you all the the time and do my work all the time, so it's a juggling act. And you did mention you guys. Tell me about this because you are revisiting the old segment, the old show. We are talking about former original episodes, like when it was really sort of vintage. I mean, Camille Grammer had an answering machine in one of the episodes we are reviewing. Um, and it's with people that are legendary in some way and talking about an episode that really fits who they are. So the first one was Elizabeth Moss and it was Scary Island and where, you know, uh, what's it called? Gilead is like a scary island. So it was great to talk to Elizabeth Moss about that and she's an Uber fan. And then talking to Jerry Springer about the crazy Jersey baptism, he said it was like one of his episodes. So there are a lot of really unexpected, interesting guests, and it's going very well. I did not realize the appetite people would have for it. I also know you have a little backlash, a little criticism. What do you say to those who say, you know, you shouldn't be talking about this because you've been gone from Housewives and you've criticized the show? That's okay. It's so funny. It's the best thing that could ever happen because everyone's talking about the show. And of course, people are going to say something negative about it because success breeds negativity. It's a great idea. The numbers don't lie. It's number 18 in all podcasts, in all the land, number one in TV. So I guess this is the ultimate lesson for let haters be motivators. What do you say to that? Because I know Andy came out and spoke about it. I think I spoke to Andy and we went on the show and it was great television and I can always hang and handle myself and we had a long conversation yesterday the day after and it's good for the two of us like we both always check in with each other to be like how crazy when we first met he was an executive at Bravo I was a nobody and we both are in very different positions now and we have sort of bobbed and weaved in this business you know interacting with each other so um, and he it's funny because he always asks me to come back to the housewives, so it's as, what would be the difference to me talking about the housewives? It would be as hypocritical for me to come back, so it's ironic. He's asking me to come back to something that he's saying is strange that I would talk about. You know, so it's like this whole roundabout thing, and um, it was really fun going into show uh, and having three days to talk about it and keep reliving it. And um, he gets it. I think he gets it now. We both get it, and it's a fun conversation, to be honest. I forget to put on Right now, would you go back to Housewives? Well, the offer is always on the table. I just, um, I can't really see it. I really, as I told Andy just yesterday, I said, I like my life. And, I mean, listen, I guess there's always some sort of strange scenario. But I, and Dorinda texted me yesterday asking, which is always so... Honestly, um, flattering.
really flattering. I think that's very humble and flattering and nice and gracious of them. So I guess you never know, but for now, I'm really happy where I am. What I love about you is you're really so about everything we just talked about injectables. Now you have it about people with filters don't understand the reality. How important is it for you, for you as well as my water technician? You know, it's a great thing to ask you. So what do you think about all the puffy lips and the injectables? And what do you think about, do you know when something is filtered? Can you tell when something looks like they really yeah. filtered themselves? What do you think of that? What do you like? what do you think if you see somebody and they the you know look perfect? Do you like that or do you not like that? Like perfect how? Meaning that they've made themselves look perfect, but you know it's not what they really look like. What do you think about that? I don't like it. You don't like it? Why? It looks fake. Because it looks fake. You like real. Yeah. You'd rather a little bit of flaws and being real than being perfect. Well, you also have mommy as a mommy who's definitely not perfect, who's very flawed, so that's what you came from. So, yeah, uh, I, you know, we don't, there's no t negative or positive talk about any food or body image. It's just I want her to be happy and love herself and accept herself. And um, I think it's dangerous. I think it's destructive. I think it's insecure and desperate. And I think it's bad. I really do. I think people can do things. Listen, I have a full face of makeup on. And um, people can get plastic surgery, can get Botox, but you can't fool people into thinking that that's real because they will die trying to achieve it. And, it's, and literally, it's dangerous emotionally, psychologically, and physically. So that's where the danger lies, in my opinion.